If you don't have Analog Lab, you're truly missing out on one of the best and most popular VSTs of the past decade. Now in this video I'm going to show you everything you need to know, from understanding the ecosystem behind it, to really advanced features and functionality that no one is really talking about. So this video is not only for beginners, but also for advanced producers that want to level up their game. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. In case you're already familiar with Analog Lab, the Aturia ecosystem and how the installation process works, you can just skip ahead to this timestamp right here. Aturia has created an entire range of instrument VSTs over the past couple of years, and if you're not sure what you're talking about, it can get confusing really quickly. So here's the deal. Analog Lab is the centerpiece and preset manager to all of this software, and for a long time there was only one version available, now called Analog Lab Pro. That's the version we're going to look at today. Analog Lab Pro has over 3000 presets and comes in at the price of 199 USD. There are also smaller versions available called Analog Lab Play and Analog Lab Intro, with Intro featuring 500 presets and being included with some of the Turius hardware, and the Play version being completely free but only featuring 100 presets. All of this is not to be confused with the Aturia V collection, which tops up the presets inside Analog Lab to over 10,000 and contains all of the individual instrument and VST plugins Aturia has put out. Now this of course comes at a price of roughly 700 US dollars, so you definitely gotta know if you're willing to spend that money. Now in case you don't own Analog Lab yet, you can just follow along with the steps of this video with the free play version. I'm gonna leave a link to that in the description. If you wanna get the best price for any of the Aturia products, I would highly advise you to wait until Black Friday, where they usually have a 50% off deal. By default, all Aturia software can and should be installed from the Aturia Software Center. You can download it on the website, just install it and log in with your credentials and you're ready to go. In here you have your products, you have updates and you also have all the products that you don't currently own that you could buy. The Aturia Software Center really comes in handy if you have a lot of their VSTs. So for example, I have the V Collection 9 which contains over 33 different VSTs. And installing all of the manual with a individual installer would just take ages. So I'm really glad that they have this thing taking over that work for you. Now in case you prefer to install your products manually, you can also log into the Aturia website, go up here to My Products and click See All My Products. And right here you're gonna get installers for both Apple, Mac and Windows. Okay, so now that you have installed Analog Lab, let's load it up for the first time. And if you have any third-party banks available, let's import them now as well. And right here you have to differentiate between banks made by Aturia itself and third-party banks. With the Aturia banks, you simply go over to the store icon and you can activate and download any products that are registered in your account from there. If you have a third-party bank, for example from a sample pack, you can go over to these three bars up here. You can select import and then you're gonna select the location of your .labx file, which is the file format for Analog Lab Banks. Just double click it and Analog Lab is going to import it automatically. Okay, so now that we have successfully installed all our libraries inside Analog Lab, it's time to take a look at the software. So when we open it up for the first time, this is what we're gonna be greeted with. Basically the home page. Right here on the left, you have access to the browser, to your sound banks, to the Aturia store and also to your favorites. More on these later. Now if you go back to the home page, we have access to quick filters. So we have the sound type that we want to use, we have the instrument that we want to use, we have specific sound banks that we might want to use and we also have designers. So if you have a specific designer that you want to get sounds from, they are all in here. Now let's say we're looking for a keys preset, we're just going to click this icon right here. And we're going to be greeted with all of our presets that have the tag keys in there. And as you can see, there's quite a lot of them. Now Analog Lab helps us right here by making the filtering really, really easy. So we can go on here, types, and we can select which exact type of keys we want. So if we want to have arpeggio, dirty keys, mallets, piano, there's all kinds of stuff in it. So let's say we want some lo-fi keys. I'm just gonna select this and boom, just 258 presets left. We can also go for styles. So let's say we want some granular stuff. Damn, just 13 presets left. Let's check some of them out. This far. Oh, this as well. Not specifically a key in my opinion, but anyways. Why not? So, this is how you browse all of your presets. 
just play around with your presets and sounds for a little bit until you feel familiar with Analog Lab and how it works. And then you can go over to the advanced section of this video where I'm actually gonna uncover all of the source. Let's go. Now right here we get into the real source of this video, because 99% of producers think that Analog Lab is just a simple preset machine, but in fact it's way more than that. Let me show you. Alright, so this tip is super dope and I've never seen anyone talk about this. Basically, if you have a sound that you kind of like, but it's not 100% fitting, you can just click this icon up here in order to bring up a list of similar presets. So, these are presets that were analyzed by Analog Lab and have a really, really similar sonic sound to it. So, they're not just based off of the tags or the category of the sound, but actually by how they sound. You can also analyze your user presets slash custom banks and really include all of your presets in there. Super dope. This tip is more of a quick workflow tip, but I personally use it a ton. Basically, if you're browsing through sounds and you just want to get the results from the custom libraries you have installed, simply hit this user button up here and it's only going to bring up the results from your user library, aka all of the preset banks that you have imported. I personally have a bunch of trap kits installed with good trap sounds, so if I want to get a super hard trap bell, I can simply click this user button up here and go to my bells and I'm only going to get the trap bells from my kits displayed. Now the biggest drawback with Analog Lab is that if you don't own the V collection, you literally can't edit the presets. At least that's what most people think. In reality, you can actually do loads of stuff to change up the sound. So first of all, you can just combine two sounds together. Just click on add instrument right here and select another preset and boom, you have a combination of these two sounds that you can blend in together. Super dope. You can also use the edit preset button in order to add two creative effects as well as a delay and a reverb to your sound which can be super dope. Just make sure to use the save preset as function in order to not lose any of the progress you just made. Now I cannot stress how powerful this last tip is and still I barely see anyone using it. Like how often do you find a sound that is super dope but not exactly what you're looking for right now? Instead of letting it fade amongst the thousands of other presets that are in your library, you can quickly save it to one of your eight favorite sections. Just right click the sound and select one of the eight colors in order to save it. I personally need mine to be organized by instrument, so for example I have basses, pads, belts, this kind of stuff, but you can do it however you want. On top of that, I also mark all of my favorite presets with the main favorite tag, just in order to have even quicker access. Now there is also a whole playlist section inside Analog Lab that is made to perform live, and it's actually super dope, so if you're into live music and live performance especially, definitely check that out. I'm not going to talk about it in this video because I'm a studio producer and that's what we do right here. Now let me know if you have any questions down in the comments, also if I missed anything, any source, then please leave it there as well for other producers to see. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, see you in the next one, bye.